Swiggly Swoo, so how do you do guys? This is Powerhouse Fan Jam and today I am bringing yet another upload which is actually going to be showed on sessions. I've actually just currently uploaded a team builder on the team I'm actually using right now which, cons which consists of Mega Kangskan, Polito, Gengar, Landers Ferrian Foil, Ludicolo and of course Bishop. So I will be bringing one battle a day because I'm not actually on a very good uh, recording software at the moment. However, I'm looking to improve it hopefully to OBS. I've actually downloaded the software but haven't actually got round to using it. So who come up against Mega Skeptile, uh, Thunder's Incarnate Form, uh, Lucario, Greninja, Porygon 2 and also Shuckle. So Porygon 2 and Shuckle are going to be very annoying to go up against. And the great thing about going up against this guy is that he doesn't actually have a great way to deal with Landers um, apart from the Greninja. But this is why I can also open up a Kangaskhan as well. So I think Kangaskhan and Lander is such an offensive but great lead because uh, apart from Thunder waving my Kangaskhan, um, his thunders really isn't gonna like a rock side. So now I've got those those two sorted out, I can start to focus on other Pokemon to bring. I really like Gengar in this matchup because it can will us a lot of things, including the um, Lucario and Greninja if it's physical, as well as also taunting the Porygon too and Shuckle. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to open up Gengar, and then I'm going to open up Bishop leading Ludicolo and Politoed at home. I actually considered running Suicune on this team for a while, but Suicune just doesn't um, fit the role of Politoed at all, because, oh wow, my opponent really did predict me there. Wow. Um, yeah, it does. It just doesn't really fit the role. So, um, I'm in a bit of a tricky situation here. What I'm going to do is Mega Evolve. Fake out the Greninja, and then I can actually end up going for a super power onto Lucario for super effective damage. I will actually show you my rate. Well, I'm, I won't show you, I'll tell you my rating at the end of the battle. I don't actually currently know what it is. I think it might be in 1200, I'm not too sure. Unfortunately, my opponent's Greninja does not protect, and I do actually end up getting an Oko on the Lucario, as well as I'm um, doing a lot of damage to Greninja, which actually puts it in Sucker Punch range, which is probably the best possible lead I could have got up to. My opponent probably should have double protected if he could in that situation, but unfortunately, he didn't, and that's obviously cost him a lot. So, um, what can I do here? Right. I think what I can do here is low kick the Porygon 2 and also super power the Greninja. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I definitely know Landorus Farian um, outspeeds Greninja because I am Choice Scarf. And obviously he doesn't seem to be Choice Scarf because I did outspeed him. And yes, yeah, so this is really great. I locate the Porygon 2 for actually pretty decent damage considering it's such a bulky Pokemon. He does use Recover which is probably a very good move on his behalf. And... Luckily enough for me, I do actually come up against Skeptile. So, um, my voice is really croaky today and I'm not liking it. So, recognising the fact that Porygon 2 can't actually touch any of my Pokemon right now, I'm actually just going to um, end up going for the, the Sucker Punch. Now, I'm going to go for the Return onto Skeptile because I don't actually think it can do much to me. It's worth well switching out to Bishop because I actually um, resist both Porygon 2 and Skeptile Stab because Dragon is resisted by Steel, Grass is resisted by Steel, and also Normal Typing is resisted by Steel, which is really nice. He does actually use uh, Substitute on his Skeptile, which is really nice. I'm so glad I actually went up, went for the Return. He is, Porygon 2 does actually bar to go for the... Um, Discharge, which is a really nice power on my opponent's behalf. Unfortunately, I think it, m it might be a little bit too late for him to die, because now all I need to do is locate the Porygon 2, and then I can actually end up... Oh, no, but he can um, set up the... He can he can definitely set up the... Uh, what's it called? The Substitute. So I think my best situation here is to return the Skeptile, and then also just knock off the Porygon 2, or protect the Bishop. Right, yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to return the Skeptile and then protect the Bishop. Because this way, if my Kangaskhan gets knocked out, that's fine because I am paralysed and he has definitely done, a, well, she, sorry, has definitely done a job. He does decide to go for the actual Giga Drain. Um, Discharge does actually take Kangaskhan out, which is a bit of a worry, but at the end of the day, I'm not too bothered by this. So what I can do here is actually go straight into um, Gengar, because Gengar can put a super effective sludge bomb into Skeptile's path, which is really nice. And um, I think, to be honest, I think you outspeed me, don't you? I should probably consider that. So 135 to 
two one six. Um, one two five two one six. So potentially, yes, Skeptile can outspeed me, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm actually just going to double up into it with a Sucker Punch and also a Sludge Bomb. Because at the end of the day, if he decides to set up a Substitute, right, yeah, he does decide to set up a Substitute, which is actually fine. Because all I need to do now is Sludge Bomb. As he does go for another Discharge, I really like my opponent's tactic at the moment. And does he get any Paralysis? No, he doesn't. So what I can do here is just keep going for that same tactic. Because all he's doing here is wasting his own... Um, substitutes and also his own health while I'm not actually losing anything which is really nice I'm just really scared of him getting a right I do take out the tile, which was my biggest worry basically my I think my opponent couldn't win there but um, if he decided to oh my gosh Porygon um, I think what my opponent could have done there is probably um, kept stalling me out with substitute and hoping to get a paralysis on the discharge onto my bishop Well onto my Gengar because bishop probably wasn't the biggest worry for him So I do send in Landris to get rid of that vital intimidate that my opponent's Porygon needed I'm gonna superpower it and then I'm actually just gonna go for a knockoff to potentially win the game and probably win the game Because I don't think it's Porygon to I uh, can really touch my Pokemon from this distance so I don't actually take out the superpower which is fine by me as I do actually finish off Porygon 2 with a knockoff. So I really enjoyed that battle it didn't actually need a a lot of predictions going on and I'm actually quite a low rating I'm, I'm I've am i gone from uh, 1115 to 1139 I think it might have been the fact that I didn't really care about Pokemon Showdown I may have rage quit a couple of times because I, like T was on the go or um, stuff like that. So thanks for watching guys, go check out my other content, this is my second upload of the day and I hope you guys enjoy it, I actually really enjoyed this battle and for now Panchan people, goodbye.